Hey everyone, this week I thought we'd do a quick roundup of some of the various news stories from around the world, like a cheap Chinese all-you-can-eat buffet of news, except of course with less cat meat. In America, President Trump decided to implement a series of import tariffs on steel and aluminium, which may or may not be illegal, although I suspect if it does go to court then the devil will be in the detail and the lawyers will probably argue about whether the metal should be called aluminium or aluminium. Actually, I say the devil's in a detail correction, the devil will most likely be in a suit and be charging his clients hundreds of dollars an hour. In Korea, uh, they're edging ever close to that peace summit I mentioned last week, and I suspect now there's a bit of a fear slash expectation if they don't finally sort things out, then President Trump will be forced to go in there and sort them out with an iron fist, even if that iron fist does have to, of course, pay an export tariff thanks to the aforementioned story. In Italy, they've got new leadership this week after the Five Star Movement and the League, who were the winners in Italy's recent general election, finally succeeded in their second attempt at putting together a coalition government, which as readers in the UK, of course, always works out really well. Um, to the losers, I'd say don't worry, elections in Italy are of course like London buses. Or perhaps to use a more Italian analogy, they're like young ladies at Silvio Berlusconi's house. Specifically, there's an inappropriately high number of them. Spain has a new ruler. Uh, there was a change in leadership in Madrid after King Philippe ousted the old Prime Minister following a corruption scandal and put Pedro Sanchez in charge of the country. I saw a photograph of them in the newspaper this morning with a caption underneath saying that Mr Sanchez was to the King's left, which kind of goes without saying really, he's a Spanish socialist, he's to everyone's left. In the UK, the Daily Mail celebrity sidebar of shame has spilled over into the entire newspaper with dozens of photographs from the Epsom Derby. In amongst all the hats and the shoes, there's the Queen and celebrities like Liz Hurley, and if you like the Queen and celebrities, Helen Mirren's there too, I see. I always feel it's a real shame though that in spite of all the hats, the Queen never wears her big golden crown hat to the races. Mind you, maybe palace officials hide it in case she gets ideas about handing it over to a bookmaker after she's had a few gins. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.